Mob is given an assignment to write his career path for the future, which he struggles to decide upon. Raygen suggests becoming a full-time employee of his, but Mob insists it is only a part-time gig for him. A client arrives with a supposed cursed idol that Raygen believes is a fake, but Mob and Sarazawa sense it actually is cursed, so he has the latter exorcise it, claiming his mistake to be a test for Sarazawa. Mob continues to feel anxious about what he wants for his future, especially hearing his other classmates having ideas for their plans. He's then confronted by Mazato, who states she is aware Mob is responsible for the giant broccoli in the middle of the city, which has since been worshipped by the Psycho Helmet cult and dubbed the Divine Tree, attempting to convince him once again to make himself known as their leader. Later, Rei Jen, Mob, and Sarazawa visit a client at his dirty home who believes he's possessed by an evil spirit. Hearing his story of regret and guilt greatly affects Mob and Sarazawa, causing the spirit to grow in power. Rei Jen manages to snap the two out of it and they successfully exorcise it. Mob is able to cheer Sarazawa up, reminding him of his steady growth, while he worries that he'll be stagnant. He ultimately hands in his career path blank thinking about becoming a traveler, and receives blessing from Rei Jen to follow his own path. Meanwhile, Dimple sits atop the divine tree, ready to start his plan. For the upcoming culture festival at Salt Middle School, Mob and some of his classmates are assigned to work on the costumes for their class haunted house. While his partners suggest a simple ghost sheet to use, Mob wants to put in something with more effort, but is unable to come up with a better solution. Mob continues to grow more anxious as the festival comes closer with them having made no progress. Meanwhile, Rei Jen is approached by supposed yokai hunter Haruaki Amakusa, requesting his assistance in tracking down yokai known as the Hundred Demons located within the city. Due to Amakusa's eccentricities, Rei Jen doesn't believe him and tries to get him to leave, but accepts to job after he offers him a 1 million yen consultation fee. Rei Jen follows Amakusa around the city accompanied by Sarazawa and Mob, with the latter completely transfixed in his costume dilemma. They make it to an abandoned building, where the basement is covered in mysterious tree roots, and soon discover Amakusa was right and the yokai are real. He tries to fight them off but fails, while Sarazawa and Mob take them all on, including the yokai king and his four generals, all the while this is happening. Mob receives various epiphanies on how to make the haunted house better. Amakusa offers Mob and Sarazawa jobs as yokai hunters, but they both decline, while Rigan snide comments inadvertently result in him losing the 1 million yen fee. Mob suggests the idea of creating the yokai king for the haunted house, which they reluctantly agree to, and that turns out to be a hit. After saving Tsubomi from an embarrassing situation, being invited by Mazato to a psycho helmet cult meeting, and having made plans with Tome, he is teased by Emmy on how popular he is lately. After walking home with Ritsu, he begins to sense more girls looking at him affectionately, causing him to get high on his own popularity. Later that night, Mazato reveals the psycho helmets are having an audition to find their leader, convincing him to attend as it will make him more popular. Dimple then appears and suggests Mob partner with him so they can lead the cult together but Mob questions Dimple's motives and rejects the offer. After telling Rei Jen about his plans for the audition, Mob is given a 5,000 yen bonus in order to get new clothes to look his best. He asks Teru for help and ends up getting an awkward-looking shirt with monkeys on it. On the day of, Mob waits for Tom and Mazato, but they both don't show up or answer of his calls. Meanwhile, at the audition, a being that resembles Mob calling itself Psycho Helmet appears declaring he credited the divine tree and is there to bring the world happiness, demonstrating his immense power by taking control of it. At school Mob asks Mazato why she didn't show up the previous day, which she claims is because the true leader of the Psycho Helmets appeared, so he doesn't have to worry anymore. Several people in the school, including Tome and most of the student council begin to suggest that they should take time in praying to the Psycho Helmets and the divine tree, to some of the others' confusion. After eating a cookie given to him by members of the Psycho Helmets, Teru suddenly begins to praise the Divine Tree and its leader, before then vomiting it back up, realizing the attempt at brainwashing him. He heads into the tree to confront Psycho Helmet, quickly identifying him as being Dimple. 
He tries to fight, but he is eventually tired out as Psycho Helmet's power continues to increase. Having realized that the Divine Tree's roots have been spreading throughout the city, causing people to call his office for this problem, Ray Jen gets Mob to help find a way to destroy the tree. They request help from Ritsu on their way, who also voices his distrust in the Psycho Helmets, but after eating one of the sweets, the brainwashed Ritsu takes the two to a Psycho Helmet meeting where the other brainwashed members try to coerce them into joining them. Ray Jen and Mob escape, realizing the whole town has fallen under the tree's control, and try to make their way over. However, Ray Jen also ends up falling under its spell, forcing Mob to have to go at it alone. He reaches the entrance where he's met by a host of people, all cheering on Mob as the original Psycho Helmet. Mob enters the Divine Tree, where he's met with the pestering voice of Psycho Helmet, as he states his goals and desires, while questioning if Mob appreciates the attention of the crowd. He discovers the contained Taro and Psycho Helmet, who he recognizes as Dimple. He once again asks Mob to join him in his endeavor, detailing his intention to spread the influence of the Divine Tree all through the world, making his dream of truly being a god a reality. Mob tells him he's merely manipulating people's hearts and frees Taro to help him, However Teru is also shown to be under his control and begins to fight Mob to defend the Divine Tree. Mob is able to blast Teru out of the tree, but finds while he's facing off against several Psycho Helmet clones that his power is getting weaker, due to being drained by Dimple and the tree. Dimple transforms into his god Dimple form, prepared to go all out against Mob, but Mob claims that he's holding back his power and words, calling him a fake, which irritates him. Dimple unleashes a powerful attack, all the while Mob's power continues to slowly creep up to 99%, only to be caught completely off guard upon seeing Mob's monkey shirt under his jacket, calling it lame. After hearing Dimple's comment, Mob reaches 100%, but to Dimple's shock, instead Mob simply releases all of his excess energy into the air, dispersing it all over. Dimple is confused as Mob refuses to fight back when he attempts to attack him and is further drawn aback when Mob reveals that Dimple has no intention of actually hurting him. Hearing Dimple's remark to his shirt caused him to realize that he still cares for Mob as a friend, and further apologizes for dismissing his dream earlier, when he was getting high on his popularity. The revelation befuddles Dimple as he begins to have an epiphany of himself, despite wanting to reach a godlike state, now that he had accomplished it, it was boring and that wanting Mob to accompany him was all a result of his desire for a real friendship like he had with Mob. Coming around, Dimple declares to give up on the leadership, using his power to wipe everyone's memories of the brainwashing, and helps take the overly exhausted Mob back home. However, he is stunned by the appearance of Psycho Helmet, the Divine Tree having gained sentience in said image. He uses his godlike power to try and defeat it, but finds himself overwhelmed by the tree's increasing power as it slowly sucks away his. With his last remaining strength, Dimple gets an unaware mob to escape the tree and bring everyone home. Later that night, the news broadcasts the divine tree being flung up into space, and while Mob can't remember exactly what happened, he tearfully thanks Dimple for everything he did, 